Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Hold on, hold on one second. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> You're too famished, right? We gotta go check out our meal. Eat law bugs and nettles and aged smoke. That sounds, I mean, you kind of saved it, but sounds not great. Reflect 3% damage back at your attackers rounded up. Whenever you deal fire damage, there's a 10% chance you intimidate creatures around you. Well, that's always true. I mean, not mechanically, but you know. Uh, all right, so we, we are going to a workshop. Merchants workshop of Tiram legendary haberdasher. They are to our south. We notice some ruins. Discover Prism Sana. We've got Thirst Thistles. Ooh, and a Becoming Nook. And we're level 11. It's all coming up. Wait, that's that's not a Becoming Nook. That's a Becoming Nope. There's nothing in there. We have We have been cheated and I'm being set on fire by gliders that come out at dawn ouch oh okay i gotta i gotta slow my roll a little bit I gotta slow my roll i do not want to die in a most embarrassing way here is our haberdashers workshop oh my god what in the world are you doing here there's a freaking humor do not want to have to fight a humor. They could absolutely take me out at level 11. Good God. Why? What are we doing here? Um, we are. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Find the implant. Locate the implant at the workshop. Return it. Okay, we can do that. Uh, maybe maybe we can do that. I don't know. There's a freaking well our move. We've got movement speed on them So there is that and we got more gels more Well, this this is, is not technically a gel Just gonna go ahead and poison them. I like that you can poison uh, oozes oof oozes eases I want a ooze that lays golden eggs for <laughs> Easter I want the world. I want the whole world. Um. Good God. All right, let's. Uh, there's nothing in that. I. I. I'm a little. I'm still reeling a little bit. Off that. Ooze. That. Humor. I'm hoping that we can avoid them. I should pick up one of these, because they're actually DV. And we don't have anything on our back, and we are in defensive stance, so we could use a little bit of extra DV. Nothing in there. We got some wire strand. I really kind of wish I had trash divining right now. We have a weird artifact. Flashbang grenade. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take all of that. Do 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 do. I got it stuck in my head, and I'm gonna get DMCA'd. The worst earworm you can imagine is the one that loses you money. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, the worst thing about um, desert combing is that you have to listen to this music for a long time. And I like this music, but after a while, it does start to grate. It does begin to uh, make me sick. All right, loved by merchants, just like the Kragmensch. Hated by the Mapanga, why, dude? Why do you have to be enemies to my friends? Do you have the thing I need? You do have the thing I need. Why is it so expensive? Well, this was a terrible quest, I gotta say. Um, I gotta come back here when I'm a little bit more uh, equipped. All right. Well, do you have anything actually useful? You have a nylon body pack. I do like a nylon body pack, but I don't know if it's really worth it right now. Panther's cloak. Worn burn noose. I don't really see anything worth taking. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. All right. Well, that was kind of a bust. 
We could kill them, but I don't want to be... I don't want to make enemies with the Merchant's Guild. Um, where's all of our historic sites? I know we have a few. Oh, I see one is in Lake Hinnom and one is... That might be actually in the, uh, the jungle. Over there, but I have a funny feeling it's in the Rainbow Wood. So we have one in the jungle, we have one in the Rainbow Wood, we have one in the mountain. The one in the mountain, uh, might be doable. Like, soon, but, um, I... Yeah, I don't know. Ugh, sucks that we can't accomplish this, um, quest right now. I would love to get some more, uh, reputation with this village. Oh well, that's kind of a bummer. Ah, legendary Putus Templar. Loved by Putus Templar, hated by pretty much everyone else. Still, uh, I might want to... Well, what's our, our reputation with Putus Templars? Like, what, negative 600? Page down. 700. So, we'll come back here to probably kill them. Uh, legend Putus Templar. Tonic. Uh, I'm just putting making a note because I already know about a legendary Pewdus Templar, but they were a actually a legendary something else, uh, like a interdictor or something like that. So uh, we weren't actually going to get any tonics from that. At least I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Right. Okay. Sorry. We're six minutes in. I'm gonna. This is officially a highlight reel. Um, as I explore the salt desert, I'll definitely, well, we've got our first highlight here, but after this, I'm, uh, I'm only going to speak basically when there are things worth highlighting, but let's check this out. What do you got? What's your reputation? Loved by apes, hated by the merchants guild. Why are we, we keep getting these like horrible offsets. And I'm not, I'm not about it. We got some Russia floor that we already knew about. We got some new, discovered the location of the embassies of Nana. That's kind of nice. Um, we have a weird artifact. We don't know weird processing core. By the way, I'm not, I, I, I didn't, you know, I don't know why, why I'm bringing this up now, but I don't actually, I'm not using any mods. Ooh, a layer to a legendary dong glider. This is a very spicy tile. Looks like I'm being followed. I wouldn't mind actually exploring this. Uh, actually doing a legendary dong glider would be probably too spicy. But do I get some XP for killing a tortoise? 62. And 300 for killing frost frogs. I know they're not called frost frogs. I refuse to call them ice frogs. There's so many better, like, alliterations on freeze frogs. Oof. That was a bit spicy. Uh, it was a little, I'm, I'm playing too quickly. I need to slow things down a bit. Uh, sting them. I really, I want to kill the uh, freeze frog. There we go. They're worth really good XP. And they're probably easier to kill than a chameleon. Let's be, let's be real. I'm not going to actually go and encounter the legendary dawn glider. Uh, we're not doing that. They will absolutely take me out. But, uh, I'll fight everything else here. Seems like not everyone is friends to everyone here. Lunge. Uh, we did not poison them. I want to get charge. I want to get charge so that I can have yet another, um, stinging ability. It does, it, it occurs to me, actually, fighting... I freeze frogs is probably a bit spicy because yeah if they if they freeze me I might be like perma stunned because I have no means I have no way of countering freezing so let's uh let's do this I'm just hitting the attack nearest for now until I have to apply some thought to my actions. And sting them. Okay, that was a little bit spicy. Do we have, um, do we have some witchwood bark? 
We have one Witchwood Bark. Okay, so we have one, like, low-key um, recovery item. And then we've also got some salves. Wow, our lunge is not really working for us right now. I'm going to back up. Let nature take its course. All right. Just, just, we're just killing frogs. Okay, there we go. Lunge worked out there. And then we'll sting this lad. And then we'll back up. Let nature take its course. Free experience. Free good experience, it must be said. Now, I could go downstairs because um, fighting dawn gliders underground is actually a lot of their spiciness gets kind of nuked a bit make no mistake this is this is uh, probably a dangerous thing to do i do not want to fight and or encounter our legendary dawn glider i do want to come back here and hopefully make friends with them ouch can we, okay here's the ultimate test can we poison a robot uh you hit with your stinger i guess i hit them so the fact that I didn't actually um, poison them, I think that is pretty definitive. I'm going to try and swipe them. Are they poisoned? They're damaged. I don't know what I did to them. They're badly damaged. I, they're taking damage, and I'm not sure why. Interesting. Okay, we've got a bear. We can deal with the bear. I'm gonna switch back to defensive stance. And then do a lunge. Wow. There's probably other good things. Like, I wonder what... Um, I wonder what the lunge does in defensive stance. Attack an opponent, then lunge back. Or, oh, wait, that's... that's. Sorry, I wonder what swipe does. Push all adjacent creatures back one space and attempt to trip opponents. It's kind of nice. I don't know if it's as good as the lunge, though. Sting. They are poisoned. We do have a Dawn Glider on this tile. I can see and or hear them making work of their other enemies. We have some honey here. Oh, uh, it was salty honey. No, I mean, that's technically better put a little you, you don't put a little bit of salt in your honey do you I, tell, I honestly think that would be pretty good salt and sweet are generally pretty good friends okay uh sting you back away as you are poisoned i am bleeding right now ah there's our legendary dawn glider we're leaving goodbye they, they torched us exactly once, and it was enough to scare me. Uh, we already have a note in our journal about that layer, so we'll come back later. I'm going to lunge you. Honestly, I might have to turn off the music just for this area. Uh, there we go peace peace at last at least until we start doing other things and i'll turn the music back on again uh we do have one rifler and we're not doing great for health so might be best to just cool it for a moment i'll come in below them so that i have a better chance of hitting them Wondering what some of these sound effects are indicative of. Is it like I'm dodging their attacks? They're dodging my attacks? Petition for a sound effect to be added um, for when you slip on slime, and the sound effect should be, Phew! you know, it should be like a, a wee, you know. Not, not like loud or like super high pitch, but like, you know, the kind of sound you would expect to hear when a clown slips on a banana, you know? I just noticed we have like cool wind effects. Wind sound effects when the music isn't going. 
It's actually in some ways like it's more ambient than uh, if you know have the music on, especially when I'm talking over it. <laughs> All right, highlight real time. You discover Ekakish. Okay, Ekakish seems to be completely swarming with uh, Isakari warriors. These guys are worth 100 XP each, so, um, you know, decent. They also have uh, good stuff. Isakari warriors are like the ideal grind. They, they got them goods. They've got them goods. They've got the their the XP, you know, they're worth a little bit of XP even in you know, I wouldn't say we're not even like close to the mid game, but like maybe late early game. We're approaching Golgotha. I would like to I would like to do Golgotha before level 12, but I would also like to talk about this. Um I've seen comments suggesting I don't know. I, I'm not sure how to put it. I don't want to speak for someone else and get this wrong, but like there's a little bit of a thing about Golgotha and Bethesda Susa is like it's only hard because you want to get the prize for doing it early. Um, and I understand that it's a good prize, but also like you're not getting anything for defeating Golgotha early that you wouldn't otherwise get later on. Like, it's all for fairly mid, uh, mid game stuff. Not to say that the goods, the, the rewards for defeating Golgotha early are mid. You know, far be it for me. Uh, similarly for Bethesda Susa, I think you get, what is it, like a tri hologram? You get like a hologram bracelet after you defeat. Bethesda Susa, and then you get, I think, a tri hologram bracelet if you defeat it early, which is a really nice reward. I mean, just take one look at um, the series I did with Galen, Cud Buds with Galen. A rare shout out of one of my other, some of my other content. Also, use uh, code Cud Buds at Galen's Coffee Shop for 10% uh, off your commission order. Um, but yeah, like. The, the Tri Hologram Bracelet is really nice. The regular Hologram Bracelet is really nice. You don't even need a Tri Hologram. It's nice. It's cool. But I don't think it's going to, like, make or break. Like, I don't think it's so much better than the regular Hologram Bracelet that is, like, renders the original one completely redundant. I guess it does. I mean, it obviously does. But I'm not also not sure what the power... Oh, God, a Rimwick. Why was there a Rimwick? I'm not sure what the power requirements are for the... Oh god, okay. Rimwick is following me. Run away. Run away. Absolutely not going to mess around and or tangle with a Rimwick right now. I am not about that. I apparently have gotten slightly extra move speed for the day based on how good and tasty my meal was so good and tasty um which is hilarious because we were already schmoovin with uh, some pretty good movement speed just gonna wait for the night okay back to highlight time okay we got a dromad caravan hoping that they have a recoiler for grid gate ah that looks like it could be it wouldn't mind having that as well, although I doubt it's anything good. If it's a love injector, that would be really nice. We don't need a floating glow sphere. Um, uh, trade goods would be nice. We don't really have any of our stuff, though. Could sell this extra force bracelet. We need to make up quite a lot of... Uh... Also, I should have... Oh, we have, we have plenty of trade goods. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh... I, I forgot to put a box at uh, Six Day Stilt with all my books in it and start collecting those, basically. Okay, uh, we could sell this last Isakari rifle and then, like, buy a nugget. Is there any other goods? Yeah, we could sell a couple of these. 
cool. And we're going to look at that. Great gate recoiler, and it's got a chem cell in it. That's probably why it was so expensive. Rubber gum injector. Well, we need to know what that is eventually anyway. Oh, motorized treads. I shouldn't have um, looked at those just yet. That uh, That's probably on the very, very low end of uh cybernetics to find because they're so heavy and i don't think that they're worth it oh yeah let's try our new recoil button check this out recoil why is my jopa recoiler rusted well that's fine we'll get um what's his name to repair it let's go to great gate and completely avoid the the uh path to get there also check out that new animation love that Be gone, Wayfarer. This is no place for you. Oh, have I not gotten the quest from Ar Argive yet? Um, well, at least they'll still let me buy stuff here. How much is this worth? Yeah, it's only worth 117. That's like really bad. <laughs> okay, can you repair this for me? Five drams? Perfect. Thank you. Um, do you have any goods to, to buy? I've got a pickaxe. I'll buy that. I'll buy your nuggets. Oh, you know what? Advanced toolkit would be really nice. It's a little early for one, but, um, maybe I'll just buy this floating glow sphere or just regular glow sphere. It's not really worth it. You know what? I'll buy this chem cell. That's a good trade. It's not a good trade. It's an awful trade, but, um, you know. Oh, yeah, they'll identify things for us. I don't really want to do that. Oh, hey, Risha floor that we already knew. Mafio. Okay, um, so we should be good now. Let's recoil to Jopa. And I have to go and get the quest from Argive. Can't believe I missed that. Who are these Barathermites? Okay, accept the quest. Okay, recoil back to Grit Gate. Nice. Quest step. 500 XP. You swell with the inspiration to name your Kyukya recoiler. Do you wish to? Sure. Name it based on its qualities. Uh, enter a name. Kya ku kya recoiler. <laughs> uh, listen, we'll name it. We'll make it amorous. Look at that. Submit. You select the name. Oh, whoops. I accidentally colored it twice. But look at that. Um, it, it gets to. It gets to keep the uh the kya -kya -kya coloring but then it also gets a purple finish i've never named it I, you, you have to understand the reason i didn't want to give it a fancy name is because then i would always be looking for kya -kya -kya recoiler and always seeing herbiderberder you know like whatever some stupid name um so cool we've got our golgotha mission oh we don't want to do that we don't want to i really really don't want to go through the tunnels from Grit Gate. It's just, it's just, it's never worth it. I'll go there when I'm like level 20, okay? How's that? Is that worth it? Is that good? Can we buy some more Witchwood Bark? No, we can't. They really did nerf the rarity. Well, they buffed the rarity on uh, Witchwood Bark. Okay, uh, well, we're good here. We're going to go back to the desert and continue our journey there i should have made a mark oh okay never mind i have a convenient mark right here for dromad caravan do 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 okay there's a dromad caravan back to highlight mode and we got our first fungal forest don't really want to mess with this place oh is that a legendary dong glider or is that a, just a fungled one it is a fungled one so never mind. More fungal dong gliders, more fungal forests.
Ooh. Chokes upon oil. Legendary Isakari rifler. Um, we could do this. It might be a little bit spicy. Is that a fungal friend? I think that's a friend to fung. Yeah, it is. I don't think that they have, um, fickle cell. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure if it'll tell you. You shot your friend there, bud. Um, doesn't say if they have fickle gill. We're in defensive stance. Let's do a... Well, actually, tell you what. Let's switch to dueling stance. And then swipe. Uh, we didn't manage to swipe. Yeah, we disarmed their dagger. We wanted to disarm their uh, gun. So then we'll do a lunge. Are they poisoned? They're not poisoned. Things are getting a little bit spicy for my my like um yeah, i mean this, this is fine i don't necessarily want to become friends to isakari but they might have good reputation uh they, they might have good enemies you know what is this russia floor that we already had we already have quite a lot of russia floor uh what did i just do i did a lunge but I missed with my stinger. Okay. So let's go ahead and go dueling stance, swipe. Back to defensive stance. Switching stances is a free action, by the way. I, it, like, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. So, um, I, I kind of wish, since it is a free action, I know this is really entitled, but like, hear me out. Uh, I would like to just have the buttons on the hotbar. That's like, give me the defensive stance lunge, then give me the dueling stance swipe, right? Because then I would just like do away with the attacks and stuff that I don't really want to use as much. Um, and then I could still keep the stances on the hotbar. Because like, then... Um, it's just a little bit quicker for me. It, I think one of the reasons I, I stayed away from Longblade for as long as I did is because it seemed like a lot of work to switch between stances. Um, it's really not that bad now that I know what I'm doing. We're in defensive stance. Let's go ahead and lunge. Um, you could, someone could ask, well, like, okay, well, let's say, for example, let's, let's, consider your proposed method of uh you have all the buttons on the hot bar what stance would you be in after you use an attack well i would say whatever stance that last attack required right so if you wanted to do the defensive stance lunge and you press the defensive stance lunge button then uh then you're in defensive stance and you can always switch it on on the fly or i don't know like there's a lot of ways to do it and i know that Probably they're all, they've all got trade-offs. Um, let's go ahead and use our gun. Yeah, there we go. That was an easy kill. I'm not, I don't necessarily trust friend to fungi, you know? So I want to switch to dueling stance. Swipe. Did we disarm them? Yeah, of their rifle. This is good. Defensive stance. Lunge. What? Shoot. Perfect. That was amazing. That was that was just fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Just like swing, swing, you know, flip their gun out of their hand, swing, and then like back up, sh fire with the gun. That was just like, that was, that was some like Hollywood-esque stuff right there. Really enjoyed that. Really hope none of you... Okay, you got Mumble Mouth. You're cool. I can, I can, I can deal with Mumble Mouth. I like these, like, Borg-esque ruins here. <laughs> these are fun. Oh, we're continuing with the fungal. 
Look at this description of the tile. Subterranean salt desert and fungus grove layer of chokes upon oil legendary Isakari rifler. Quite a lot going on. Are we in defensive stance? Yeah, we are. Let's go ahead and lunge. What? Did they pick up their thing? It resisted the effects of my poison. That's no good. Oh, wait a minute. Did I... I lunge... Oh, I didn't swipe them. That's... I didn't... I didn't swipe them. I, I, I lunged them. Uh, we'll switch to dueling stance. And swipe. Back to defensive stance. Sting. And I think I'm, I'm playing this pretty well, I think. We've got really good things going for us. And I'm using all of them to the best of my effect. Now that looks like the legendary. It isn't. It is not. They are a very crusty... They are a very cr a crusty, glow, um, glowing Isakari. And so they look a little, little bit more bright on that magenta. Hence why I thought they were a legendary. Let me just... I gotta double check because there is a legendary... There is a legendary here and I don't want to miss them. Um, go ahead and lunge. And I'll switch to... Dueling stance, walk here, swipe. And they should be disarmed, so I'm just gonna... Oh, they, these guys are both ranged, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attack them. Bronze dagger. Picking up Isakari rifles um, is generally not recommended because they are very heavy. But you never know. Uh, we're still in dueling stance, so I'm gonna go ahead and swipe them. Did I manage to disarm them? Yes, I did. Ooh, okay. I don't know what they're using. But it's a little bit spicier than the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and rest here. I'm going to come back. We're very close to leveling up. I think they have a shotgun. Itchy skin. Oh, okay. They just have... Itchy skin. That means someone has fickle gill, by the way. Or actually, it might not mean that. Oh, I did. Uh, I did a lunge in dueling stance. Classic mistake. Killed. Uh, switch back to defensive stance. I've only made one error so far. Itchy skin. Itchy skin, you have mumble mouth. I can deal with that. A little bit concerned here. Sting you. Uh, lunge is off cooldown in five turns. Shouldn't need it. Didn't need it. Get a glow sphere. Some more daggers. Another rifle. This will be the last one I pick up, maybe. It was a lie. I told a lie. That was the last one because now I don't have enough room. Let's look at this. Got some lore. Don't don't really care right now anyway. I might go through the lore later. Um just to see what I can expect from some of the historic sites. Uh yeah, we're not picking up any more rifles. We must be getting kind of close. We got a knoll worm. Uh, sting them. Easy peasy. Grab some daggers. Is that acid? Wonder what the acid is doing here. Is this another? No, not. Oh. Location of Garrisons of Kiazor. So as I say, during a trek through Garrison Precinct, Kiazor Ordates III lost control of his chariot and drove it off a cliff. By chance, a group of nearby philosophers came to his rescue. Moved by their kindness, Ordates III enrolled at a local college as a student. Nice. Ouch. Someone over there critted me. Uh-oh, there's our legendary... Famished. 
now I'm famished. Okay, so we have found our legendary. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. I wonder why... Hated by goat folk. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder why they're not appearing as pink. Um, let's go ahead and do Link's Dance Swipe. Um, I managed to disarm them, so now it's just a matter of killing them. They are kind of getting through me, so I might... I'm just going to wait for one more swipe and then swipe them of their other weapon. Something else is shooting at me. Oh, God. This would be a good um, situation to use my chested salt or salve. Um, let's do a defensive stance lunge. They're poisoned. Fire on them. Uh, I should really take a witchwood bark. Why, why mess around? Oh, good. That's why. Because we're confused now. Should be fine. They're still poisoned. Poison you. You're not poisoned. Swipe. Oh, that was... That was a defensive stance swipe. That's my second error with that. There we go. Is that the new sound effect for Isakari Tribe? Quite nice. Yeah, almost 200 reputation with goat folk. That's that's a long way. Th that is a very long way to um, getting the dream, the first dream. Because the thing is, is, is once you have, once you're friends with goat folk, uh, and you can traverse the jungle um, without having to deal with seed sowers then the jungle basically becomes another salt desert and there's a lot more of it. So that's really good. And also it's a good place to make friends with robots because uh, the Isakari, not the Isakari, the Naphtali like to, that's the second time I've done that, uh, like to hang around with legendary idols. Are you another legendary? No, you're just fungus ridden. Legendary idols and uh, they are robots and they you know, have robot rep. These guys are... Well, they're still worth XP. It'd be worth going through this whole place, honestly. Overburdened. It's finally happened. Um, what could we drop? Could drop some food. I'll just eat a kudzu stem. What the heck are you, bud? A fungicide, fungus ridden fungicide miner. That is hilarious. Oh, is that a mimic? <laughs> Waxy fungus ridden mimic. Wow. Huh. Okay, they were worth quite a bit. Oh. The Mimic actually succeeded to Mimic me. So I'm just going to back up. Need to reload. They're a door right now. There's still a door. You hit the something. I'm just going to... This would be really good XP if I can get away with this. Doesn't look like they're making their way over here. Ah, they're a bed. They're a door. This is something I could see getting updated in the future, but uh, I keep the target on them. Even though they're changing shape. Oh, what are they right now? Ah, they're a camp. They're a campsite. Okay, now we're good. We can do a lunge. I think they're poisoned. 
badly wounded. 625 XP. Beautiful. Okay, I mean, that was a nice find, actually. I love I love finding a Mimic because they are pretty, pretty decent XP, especially in the early game. Carrying too much to move, huh? What do we find? What is this? Solar Cell. Oh, I love a Solar Cell. Um, yeah, they're very good. Ooh, we have, we have a lot of, uh, spine fruit. We could totally preserve that, but I don't think we have that ability just yet. You're stuck. How much? Oh, we have, uh, some skill points. Let's buy cooking and gathering and start. Uh, we'll, we'll take carbide chef as well. And we're going to start working towards, you know, you guessed it. We're going to start working towards, uh, star apple jam. And maybe I'll just do mushrooms. I'm just going to start using mushrooms instead of, um, was it star apple jam and vine wafer sheaf is what I generally use. So yeah, we'll do that. Endurance. What is there anything new in endurance? It doesn't look like it. Poison tolerance is kind of a funny one. Would be kind of a decent idea to get Physic. I do want single weapon fighting, but we owe it to ourselves first. Wait, did I already take the last long blade thing? I th yeah, I did. I just, I could take improved dueling stance, but I don't think we need that right now. And I would like to have single weapon fighting. Uh, yeah. Cooldowns of up to two random weapon or shield skills are immediately refreshed. We do need a, a shield to make the full use of this. However, it's pretty good now. Um, could we take wayfaring? I think not. I think it's probably too expensive. Oh, we already have wayfaring. That's actually really nice. And we already have salt dunes. No wonder I haven't been getting lost here. Dang. I could take ruins. Reduces the chance of getting lost in ruins from base 12. While traveling through chrome ruins on the world map. I don't know if ruins is really worth it. Because there's not a lot of ruin tiles. That one's a little bit of a question mark for me. Customs and folklore. Now that's one I would really like to take before we go to Golgotha. In fact, I would like to have it now. There's been a lot of trash. Could take tinkering. Tinkering disassembly would be really good. Oh, what is this? A nano pneumatic jackhammer. Wow. Um, do we want this? Kind of do, but I don't know what I would drop to take it. We do have a lot of Issachar rifles. And I, it is about as heavy. So why don't we do that? All right, well, this, uh, even with some, there wasn't a lot of highlighting. There was a, like quite a lot of things going down in this episode, so I might not have to cut all that much. But if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.